Interest in sprint running performance dates back millennia to Aristotle's suggestion that human runners run faster when swinging their arms along with the legs, and a simple YouTube search will reveal countless athletic drills which specifically target arm motion to supposedly enhance sprint velocity. While it's clear that leg motion is required for bipedal locomotion, arm motion is not, since non-human bipedal runners without arms, like ostriches, can achieve even higher running velocities than humans. So are conventional beliefs regarding the performance benefits of arm motion during sprinting valid? Given that synchronized arm and leg motion is universally observed in human runners, we expected that restricting arm motion would reduce sprinting speeds. We directly measured the sprinting performances of seven track and field athletes and ten team sport athletes sprinting with natural arm motion and with their arms crossed over their chest. Our track athletes performed block starts with the use of padded platforms stationed next to them while the team sport athletes performed standing starts. Each participant performed a series of 30 meter sprints in both conditions with velocity data collected from a radar device. We were surprised to find that when our participants sprinted with restricted arm motion, their 30 meter sprint time slowed down by only 0.08 seconds on average, a 1.6% difference. Group means presented here with performance time on the Y axis illustrate a similar difference for both groups and a difference of 0.03 seconds or less at each 10 meter segment. So our hypothesis that velocity would be reduced was supported, but to a decidedly small degree. Could that mean that the arms serve a different role during sprinting not related to enhancing speed? We believe so. Without synchronized arm motion to offset the rotation of the body caused by the swinging legs, the body rotates from its forward-facing orientation. Thus, under normal circumstances, human runners appear to use arm motion as the simplest, most available solution for minimizing vertical rotations. So what are the practical implications for athletes? While our findings don't preclude the possibility that arm motion could conceivably influence the very small performance differences amongst elite track athletes, arm motion interventions likely only offer marginal direct returns in developmental and team sport athletes. My name is Lance Brooks and you can read more about our study in Gait and Posture.